Hi there. Today we're going to take a look at execution plans and a couple of steps that you may be wondering what they mean. That's these filter predicates and access predicate steps. You may ask yourself, what on earth is a predicate? And why do I care whether it's filter or access? Well, let's start with the first question. A predicate is just a condition in your WHERE clause. So the query up here has two, one checking that the domain ID equals 101 and the other checking that the text starts with DML. If we right click the execution plan and expand those out, we can see we've got the two predicates there. So now we know what predicates are, how do we know whether they're access or filter? What difference does it make? Well, our domain ID check is an access predicate, and that's because we have an index on that column, as we can see when we look at the table. So Oracle's able to use this index to access just the rows that have the value 101. We run that, you can see this returns 71 rows. However, of those 71 rows, there's only one that starts with the text DML, as we can see when we run the whole query. And that's where this filter operation comes in. Oracle needs to discard the 70 rows that don't start with DML. So with access predicates, we're getting just the rows that match the conditions exactly, and no more. And this is usually done via an index. With filter predicates, we fetch more rows than we needed and have to discard the ones that don't match the listed conditions. 